Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven. And in this specific video, we're going to talk about file names, why it's important, and we'll talk about page URL as well. Now, the best way to show this is to, again, reverse engineer what Google ranks as popular for specific keyword terms, and then taking a look at them and getting an idea of what you need to do in your own website. So here I'm at google.com. And I went ahead and typed in 30 minute chicken soup recipe, uh, just because I'm hungry for some chicken soup. So as someone who is interested in this particular area, I've typed it in, I've clicked on the images, and I'm looking for something that really appeals to my eye. So image search is not just about trying to game the system, but really trying to appeal to that specific person who is typing in that keyword. So it needs to be presentable. It can't be something that is <laughs> trash, essentially. So as I'm going through here, I clicked on this one because this one actually caught my eye. And it's a big bowl of soup, chicken soup. It's got a, a ton of vegetables in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Now, I want you to specifically watch carefully as I'm doing this. So, for example, I'm looking at the image here, and the next step is to click visit. So, we're going to visit this person's website, and we're going to look for that specific image. So, obviously, there's going to be many images. We don't know if it's going to be the first one, the second one, or what. So, let's just go ahead and scroll down. Click X there. So we got that there. Let me minimize this to about 100. So we see right away that this is definitely the first page. And that's, that's interesting. Now, what I like it to do is regardless of what browser you're using, whether it's Google Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer, what you wanna do is you wanna right click on that image. And then you wanna click on Open Image in a new tab. And the reason why we want to do this is this. So we can see here that this is the file name. It says chicken noodle soup dash five dot JPEG. So Google's going to read the file name so they, they can see that it is chicken soup, noodle soup. And if you think about it, that's what I typed in, chicken soup. So that's relevant, right? And it's going to look at the URL as well. So it's not just going to look at the file name, but it's going to look at the category name and all of that. It's also going to take a look at the page it's on and the, of course, like we talked about earlier, the words that surround it. Now, speaking of file names, if your file name, let's say, for example, in this case, chicken noodle soup, your main keyword is chicken noodle soup, but you have a file name that says something like one, two, three, four, five dash exclamation mark dot JPEG. If that's the case, then that's a big mistake there. And all you have to do is simply change the file name, link it, and that's it. So in terms of file names or page URLs, that's all you have to do. So we can obviously see that this is the third highest ranking image for that keyword term and Google sees this as relevant. Now, if we go back to the search that we did earlier, and let's just scroll all the way down to the bottom somewhere. And just see kind of an idea as to why maybe they're all the way at the bottom. Now, another reason why a lot of these are at the top is because people are clicking on them and that tells Google that they're relevant. So a lot of these may not, as we can see, we scroll down further and further down, they don't look like the normal chicken noodle soup. And that's because people are interacting with it. So that's why I said you can't really game the system because this is all about human engagement and interaction. Now this one here says 30 minute chicken soup. Now that's a YouTube video. So that we're going to go keep going down tomato chicken soup. This one here. So let's just click this 
Now you can see the images are really big, right? Remember Google likes a certain type of image. So if we click this, we click visit, and we find the image, let's just see what happens here. So we can see Sandra's Alaska recipes. We scroll down, image is a little big. The text that's wrapping it may not really relate. So see that? So the file name is way too long. The page URL is way too long. And that's another thing. When I talk about page URL and file name, they're all together, clumped together. But your page URL, you want to make sure that it's short. You don't want to have it too long. So we can see that the file name here is chicken percent to be noodle soup cheddar cornbread dot jpeg so the problem with this is that there's all these percent to signs and all that what you need to do is if you have spaces use hyphens so it should look like this like a hyphen don't use underscores just use hyphens to kind of signify spaces so it should be as simple as chicken dash noodle dash soup dot jpeg so as you can see here, and this is reverse engineering this, that this is all the way at the bottom. This is probably number 100 or more. And it's all the way at the bottom, and it's got a long page URL and very long, very confusing file name. So you can get an idea now as to what you need to do. All right, so let's just scroll back up here. Now, in terms of how to change the file name, if let's say, you already uploaded it and the file name is already there how do you go about changing it so to do that there are several ways it really depends on what website you're using if you're using like html that's not wordpress then you will need to change that file name on your computer whether it's a mac or a windows computer you simply right click that click rename and rename it as such now, if you're using something like WordPress, you can simply go, usually you can go into the image editor and you can change the, the name there. Or sometimes, a lot of times, what I recommend is installing a WordPress plugin such as Yoast, Yoast SEO, that's yoast.com slash WordPress. And if you just go here and you click on Yoast SEO, install that, you'll be good to go. And it'll allow you to essentially put all tags for the images. And you can also, within WordPress, edit your file names. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of why it's very, very important to essentially change your file names to make sure that they are the keywords that you're trying to rank on. Plus all the other variables that we talked about, like the text that wraps around it, should relate to that keyword.